Think of some activities you would like to do before you are too old. Skydiving might come to mind, or maybe getting scuba certified and diving the Great Barrier Reef. But for Josie Birds and Anne Brokenbrow, their bucket lists contain something else altogether. At 93 and 104 years old, respectively, Josie and Anne have lived very long and fulfilling lives. But there is one thing they've always wanted to do. Trust us when we say it's not what you think. Before we start, can we get this video to 1,000 likes? Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Josie Birds was a 93-year-old grandmother living a quiet life in Manchester. So, imagine her surprise when she opened her front door to see two police officers standing on her front porch. They were there to arrest her. Now, Josie hadn't done anything wrong. But on top of the bit of anxiety that comes with police officers showing at your house to arrest you, the elderly woman was also a bit excited. But the drop-by wasn't spontaneous. Josie's daughter Pam actually contacted the local police station a few days before they showed up at the house. But unlike most daughters with an elderly mother, Pan wasn't asking the department to check up on her mother. Actually, it was just the opposite. Pan asked the local authorities to go to her mother's house and slap handcuffs on her wrists. Why would Pam ask them to do such a thing? Josie invited the cops inside. She never expected what happened next, can you? A few days after Pam made the phone call, two Manchester police officers arrived at Josie's front door. After ringing the doorbell, it took a few minutes for the elderly woman to make it to the door. Once she opened the door and noticed who was standing there, Josie invited the two officers inside, not expecting they were there to arrest her. We mean, what could the 93-year-old possibly have done to have her daughter call the cops? By now, we'd imagine you have quite a funny image in your head of this old lady being escorted out of her house in handcuffs, flanked by two officers. Well. We're here to tell you that it was a bit more civil and less forceful than anything you've seen in the movies. That means there was no struggle, yelling, or conflict of any kind. Josie actually went with the two officers pretty willingly. Instead of the typical police theatrics, these two gently clasped Josie's wrists in handcuffs. Then, in her front hallway, they read the elderly lady her rights. Of course, the two officers were having the hardest time keeping straight faces. After all, Josie technically didn't do anything. This whole scheme was set up by her daughter Pam, who was having a great time watching the arrest. But why did she send the officers to her mother's house? After cuffing Josie and reading her rights aloud, the two officers escorted her out to their car. If you didn't guess it, this was Josie's first time riding in the back of a police car. The only thing was, she had no clue what she was being charged with. They didn't say anything while reading her rights. Now she was just along for the ride. The officers took Josie to a cell, sat her down on the uncomfortable bed, and slammed the bars closed behind them. Ironically, Josie wasn't scared about being arrested or sitting in a jail cell. It was exactly the opposite, actually. The grandmother was thrilled about the entire ordeal, smiling the entire time she was being processed. As it turned out, Josie had written about her arrest years before Pam called the local police station. If you could believe it, the 93-year-old lady wanted to get arrested, and her daughter was the one to make her dream a reality. Years before, Josie had written out a bucket list. One of the items on the list was, in fact, getting arrested. With the help of Pam, Josie was finally able to check the item off her list. After getting wind of why Josie was sitting in a cell, an officer even went to speak with the elderly woman before releasing her. Interestingly, she wasn't the first to rest the officer had heard about. Anne Brokenbro is 104 years old and living in a senior home in Stoke Bishop, Bristol. One of the activities the residents of the senior home are allowed to participate in is the Bristol Wishing Washing Line. It is a huge board set up in the community room, asking residents to fill out a form illustrating a wish they would like to have granted. Anne saw it as her chance to make her bizarre wish. Now she just had to wait and see if it was going to be granted. The older woman had never committed a crime in her long life, so her wish was to get arrested. Anne couldn't believe this was actually happening. Her entire life, Anne played by the rules, never taking risks that could land her in trouble with the law. But after 104 years, a little rule-breaking is just what the doctor ordered. 
she was finally living her dream of being a bad girl, getting arrested, and throwing her status as a good girl out the window. Anne was getting the presidential treatment when it comes to arrests. The elderly woman was able to sit in the front seat instead of the back. Regardless, they finally made it to the station where Anne was booked. And while everyone tried to make the experience as authentic as possible, no one could help but smile. The arresting officers and senior home workers were so happy they were able to work together to pull off making Anne's wish come true. Even so, Anne is most likely the oldest person the Bristol police had arrested in, well, ever. Anne can add that to her list of accomplishments she most likely has after 104 years of life. For Josie and Anne, their time in jail was just what they wanted in their old age. After living life by the book and not taking risks that would land them in trouble with the law, getting arrested was their much-needed rebellion. We should all take a page out of these two ladies' books and create a bucket list. Of course, if you add getting arrested, maybe wait until you are Josie and Anne's age to check off the item.